Hey guys, Richard Richard again. Today is a part three video on the <coughs> on the third generation Ford Mustang. Um so I'm currently on the still on the 1983 19 so 1983 1986 models. Uh we're now on engines. So um then we'll get to transmissions and then um I'll do uh the Mexico versions of those cars and then uh and some other stuff for it as well so uh before we start make sure you guys like this video subscribe comment below what you guys think hit that not notification bell and hit all so you're alerted when i make the uploads so again like the video subscribe comment below what you guys think hit that not notification bell and hit all so yeah like subscribe comment below what you guys think hit that notification bell and hit all so you're alerted of when i make new uploads all right so uh now we're on engines so uh i'm gonna do this right now and then uh after that i will do uh i'll i'll see what else i could do for this car because there's a lot i want to do but i'll see what i can do all right <clears throat> engines here we go <clears throat> engines for the uh 1983 to 1986 models included the 2.2.3 liter 2. Point, the 2.3 turbo and the, the now fuel injected and uh, which is now fuel injected and available only in the turbo gt and svo the 3.8 liter sx v6 and the high output uh, 302 cubic inch 4.9 liter v8 with a new four barrel four barrel carburetor made by holly the 3.3 liter um The 3.3 liter straight six engine was dropped after the 1982 model year. I got the whole graph for these cars, but uh, I'll just show you because talking about this will be an absolute nightmare. So uh, here's the following gears for the cars. You could take a look at those um, all around. So. It shows also so the gear power torque the uh induction the focus there you go induction transmission and uh the notes so it shows right here I've uh, got the uh, the year, the power, torque, transmit. So the year, the power, the torque, uh, the induction and the transmission and the notes on the car. So that's for the. So the first one is uh. I'll just you know what I'll read it out because it's just complicated. So for the year nineteen eighty three. Is 175 horsepower at 4,200 RPM. 245 pound feet, 332 new meters, 2,400 RPM. So that's for the 1983 model year. Then power and torque. Induction is a 4V uh, carb. It's, it's four valve, I think, uh, carbureted. Transmission is either an SROD or a T5 gearbox. So that's for the 1983 version. 1984, uh, we got 165 horsepower, 3,800 RPM. For 175, 4,200 RPM. And for torque, 2,400. So 4,200 for the 175 horsepower version. 2,400 2, RPM. For 245 pound feet, 332 new meters for the 1983 model year. 1980, 1984, 165 horsepower, 3,800 um, RPM, uh, 245 pound feet, same 332 new meters of torque. This time at 2,000 RPM, 3,800 for horsepower, 2,000 for torque. Uh, we got EFI, also known as the CFI induction system. 
an AOD uh, transmission. It says for 1984. I also got another one, 100, 175 horsepower at 4,200 RPM. And it has the same torque, so same four valve carburetor. And it's also a T5 gearbox. Now for 1980, <coughs> 1985, this time it's 165 horsepower at 3,800 RPM. Same torque at 2,000 RPM only. Now it's got an EFI, uh, CFI induction system. And it's, uh, it's got an AOD transmission. It notes it was through, uh, November 19th, 1984. It goes for the same for uh, the 180 horsepower version, same RPM. And then, uh, same torque at the same RPM, same, uh, induction system, same, uh, transmission. And it was after, uh, November 19th, 1984. Now we got also 210 horsepower at 4,400 RPM. So 4,400 RPM, 210 horsepower. This time 270 pound feet, 366 newton meters at 3,200 RPM. It's a four valve carbureted and it's a T5 gearbox. Now we got also from 1986 now. This time, 200 horsepower, 4,000 RPM, 285 pound-feet, an extra 15 pound-feet more, extra 20 newton meters more, so from 366 to 386 newton meters at 3,000 RPM. The fuel system, not fuel system, induction is an SEFI. Transmission is um, either an AOD or a T5 gearbox. There's no uh, note for this when it was in or after production. Now we got transmissions. <clears throat> then we got motor spurt. And then I'll do uh, the Mexico versions of those cars. Then we got the proposed replacement. I'll uh, I'll see if I can do that for my next video. I don't know when. I don't know. So transmissions. Transmission availability uh, varied uh, behind the HO302 cubic inch 4.9 liter each year. The Tremec 4-speed manual overdrive SROD carried over from the 1982 model year and was the standard um, gearbox behind the 302 in 1983. Shortly after the 1983 model year started, <clears throat> the standard duty uh, Borgorner 5-speed manual overdrive gearbox, the T5 known as, became available and it was then the standard gearbox behind the 302 engine with the SROD becoming optional with an invoice credit uh, for the remainder of the model year. For the 1984 model year, um, the four-speed automatic, I was gonna say auto, uh, overdrive AOD gearbox became available for the first time in the Mustang model line and it was available behind the 302 engine only with throttle body electronic fuel injection called central fuel eject central fuel injection or cfi the t5 was still available with the four v carb induction system hold on 